just got Brian save me while I've been walking to the airport. Oh, goodness gracious. So I'm on three hours of sleep, work night shift. Uh, woke up to my blaring alarm and Brian was awake and ready to go. He was my plan B, but he somehow became my plan A. Hour flight to Cranbrook. And then a two and a half hour drive to Nelson, BC. And then an eight hour drive, no, sorry, a seven hour drive from Nelson, BC to Calgary, Alberta. It's gonna be a long day. I might have to spend the night there. Enjoy yourself. I might have to spend the night there or I can't think right now. I might as well be there or maybe the park somewhere and sleep. That's there is. So landed at uh, Cranbrook, British Columbia. I got about a two hour and a half drive to Nelson, BC, where I'm gonna pick up the truck. These guys robbed me with this rental vehicle. Apparently there's no shuttles or anything uh, that go from Cranbrook to Nelson. So flight was short and sweet. Um, I got a little bit of rest. Uh, I'm working on three hours of sleep right now. And I have about 11 hours, no about nine hours give or take no closer to 10 hours of driving um so i'll see if i need to pull over somewhere maybe spend a night at a hotel or something but i'm excited to see the vehicle hope it's all that uh i hope you dreamed about um but yeah i'm gonna get going to nelson maybe get something to eat along the way coffee and uh, we'll go from there 1075 today, So I made it, guys, in Nelson, BC. Like, this is gorgeous. I did not expect this. Like, this place is completely surrounded by mountains. It's a small town. There's a bit of a waterfront to it. You can't really see it from here. But, uh, wow, I'm blown away. It's really nice. Really nice. It's an older town, too. Um, so right now, I'm headed to uh, the shop. It's not too far of a walk from where I dropped off the rental vehicle. I was getting a taxi, but the ride was uh, it was good. And I think one of the reasons why the ride was so good was because it's so beautiful, like absolutely gorgeous. There's so many places that I wanted to stop, but I was like, honestly, the, I, if I'm gonna stop for every beautiful sight, I'm never gonna get to where I'm going. So. This thing looks ridiculous. Oh my God. There she is. Well taken care of. This was an old work truck. The guy sold it to this mechanic because he hated the short box that I couldn't carry all his stuff. Lucky for me, I love the short box. I'm not carrying much, so. Oh my gosh. Well guys, I am now in the 1990 F-150 Custom. Five speed, I thought it was a four speed at first. It's a five speed, that is awesome. AC works, got a sub, got an amp, got, man, everything on the truck works. Like this is this is awesome. It's worth the trip. Obviously, I should probably drive this back and see if I'm making it in one piece before I say it was worth it. <laughs> but I'm just chilling here in Fernie, not Fernie, um, in Nelson. I'll just show you guys the truck right now. So it has manual uh, locking hubs, which is pretty neat. Got some mud terrain, so I'm gonna have to look at getting some other. Uh, tires for this these are mud and snow rated though so might be good um 
the roll bar is absolutely all cosmetic. The lights, uh, the KC lights, just cosmetic as well. I mean, they're lights, but they're not hooked up, so I could hook them up if I want to in the future. Inside's nice and clean. These tailgates are heavy back in the day, man. They're not like the easy assist ones nowadays, but got some drop in bed liner and a leaf. I'm really happy about this, man. It is awesome. All right. All right, guys, it is Friday the 23rd. I am in Cranbrook, BC, the first place I landed before driving to Nelson. Um, I'm here not because I necessarily want to, but I'm here because yesterday um, I stopped back here at Cranbrook. I went to the Canadian Tire because I wanted to buy one of these steering wheel locks, the old school clubs. And then I got a steering wheel cover as well because the one that came to the truck was a little old and sticky. Weird. But uh, when I got back to the truck, um, I noticed that passenger, the rear side, um, behind the engine, there was like a liquid, it looked like water. It was leaking out on the floor. So I thought coolant. And it was leaking a lot, like a lot, like was dripping out. And the floor was starting to pool. So I was like, um. So I checked the, um, the radiator coolant overflow and that was at half so those levels are okay and then when the truck cooled down later I checked the the actual radiator and that was up to the top the coolant was up to the top so one guy mentioned when he when he saw he, he was like oh yeah that's the water pump so I was like well that doesn't sound good so I'm gonna head to basically it was like maybe seven o'clock yesterday when this happened seven thirty so the mechanics at Canadian Tire, they were gone already. Um, so right now it is 7.45 um, and most of the mechanic shops, they open at eight o'clock. So I'm gonna head to one of the locals in Cranbrook and see if I can get that water pump replaced before I head back. Um, yeah, I would have been home in my bed, but it is what it is, right? Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. There are so many places I wanted to stop. There's like a nice little tunnel over there. I think you can see it. But so many places I wanted to stop and just take pictures, but ah, oh, you gotta be picky and choosy, especially if you wanna get home. But um, yeah, false alarm guys. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. I'm illiterate when it comes to this stuff, unfortunately. If I can go back in time, it'd be something that I would want to get better at. So essentially, it wasn't the water pump, thank God. It wasn't the um, radiator. Um, it wasn't the heater core. What it was was normal AC. The AC works on this thing. The air conditioning works on this truck. So what happens if you're using it, I was using it for about two and a half hours. Um, the condensation causes that water buildup. And then when I parked, that's when it kind of just released itself. There's a drain in there and that's where it was coming from. So, the truck is absolutely fine. I was really happy to hear that. Man, this thing's in great condition. It's a fun ride. Um, coming through the mountains and some of the corners, like I said, guys, it doesn't inspire confidence, but just cruising on the highway, it's great. And I'll show you guys the inside. Got the steering wheel cover, I think I showed you guys that. It's a little messy, but. It's clean in here, man. Like the truck is, it's a clean truck, no doubt. So the bed. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna hit the road again. A few days since the last update on the vehicle. Let's see, when did I buy this? Uh, August 21st. Wow, right now it is September 5th. So, had it looked over by a mechanic, uh, I went into Canadian Tire and they said they couldn't uh, certify it or safety it because the tires were too big. So, yeah, 
here we are. So I contacted another guy, and he said that he will, because it has a six inch lift for, um, six inch lift and uh, 35 inch tires. So he said it's not a problem at all, as long as the lift is done well, and the lift is done well. Um, I'll give you guys an up close personal look soon. Um, so I'm just here at the registry. I got an in transit sticker, another one, so that I'm good to be driving it um, to the shop on Thursday, which is when my appointment is. Uh, yeah, so that's the update. The truck is great. Um, no major issues. The horn is fixed. Um, I got some locking, um, what do you call those things? Some wheel locks because these tires and wheels. Uh, I can see people wanting them for themselves. So it's good to always do that. So there's an extra level of security for your property. So I'm just here with the boy. I wish he was able to come down to BC with me, but uh, he wouldn't have been able to go on the plane so short notice. So yeah. <laughs> As you can see, we got all things required for Ken Fist 2019. A precious child and no mother's love. So as you can see, the fiance and I took off the bar. I took off the bar. <laughs> well, she has a tool, so I guess she took it off. <laughs> so she prefers it on there. But I I kinda like it clean, no bar. My plan is to put a topper on. Um so I might pick one of those up tomorrow, maybe. KC lights will be used in one way, one form, or another. Um, update on the, oh yeah, here's the rail right here. I'll be selling that. But update on the uh, registration or the out of province safety. Uh, I went to another place and the tires are an issue still. So. It looks like a Canadian tire wasn't exactly talking out of their butt cheeks. Um, I want to read you guys as I'm walking around here. I'll show you, I'll read you, I guess, what I need to have done to the truck prior to inspection. And I'm working on getting the parts right now. Um, okay. Replace upper and lower ball joints, passenger side. Valve cover gaskets need to be replaced. Um, brake lights and yeah, brake lights. Sorry, left brake light and uh, signal light need to be changed. Both license plate bulbs need to be changed as well. So that's all I need to do uh, before I can get this bad boy changed. So I'm looking for some tires. Um, some smaller stock tires to put on it's gonna look ridiculous with the six inch lift but that's not a big deal because I just need to get it taken care of um, and like I said looking for a topper try to color match as best as I can I'll spray paint it. she says she'll spray paint it I'd, I'd rather bedline it yeah so yeah that's where we're at right now um, today is just if you know you guys are keeping record of how long this has taken me 15th September 15th, so still not um, safety yet, but I've been crazy busy at work and stuff, so that uh, has slowed the process down. You look good up there. Thank you. So no topper? Dang. <laughs> you know what, I'll probably just get a toolbox, kind of think of it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably just do a toolbox. Um, it is technically September 18, um, but all that was done... <laughs> On the 17th included, well, as you guys know, I'm trying to get the vehicle safety out here in Alberta. Um, the issue that I've come across so far, if you've made it this far in the video, is obviously uh, the tires on the truck right now are 35, so that's not going to ever pass a safety inspection because there can't be any rubbing whatsoever. <coughs> Sorry, buddy. Um, so one of the obstacles and one of the things I had to do was look for tires and wheels, um, because it's a 1990 and the stock, um, bolt pattern is 
five, it's a five bolt by 139.7. Um, and just by talking to guys and companies and businesses that sell tires, it is an obscure um, tire, especially short notice, because I have to do all this before the 27th. I, at this point right now, I don't think I'll have an issue. Um, so today, what today looked like was pretty much I, uh, no, I went to pick and pull. Uh, me and my dad went out to pick and pull just to see what we can get. Just, I haven't really ever been there before. I've never really need, needed to go there. But when you have a truck that's coming up on 30 years old, um, that's typically going to be the place where you're going to find odds and ends. I was looking online for some tires, and I actually found some tires. Now, they're nothing special, but um, given the, the, the threading, given the, the, the size that I needed, um, given all that stuff, uh, it was a great deal. I got four tires and wheels mounted um, for $125 Canadian. Uh, so my dad and I, we, we drove for about two and two hours, 45 minutes, uh, one way and then back after we picked up the tires. We found the guy. Um, tires look good. Uh, they're in a little rough, the wheels are in a little rough shape. Uh, they're nothing pretty to look at, but all I need them for is the inspection. Afterwards, I will be selling uh, the tires, uh, getting rid of them somehow. So um, you guys will know before me at this point whether they're going to work <laughs> and actually fit because yeah, the bolt pattern fits. One of the issues that I think I may have is because there's a locking, uh, manual locking hubs on the, the F-150 on the two front wheels. Um, so I got to make sure that center hole in the wheels, it actually is big enough for um, that mechanism. Um, I'll explain that a little bit more later. But yeah, so tomorrow I'm getting the tires mounted. Right now it's getting the work done. Uh, Monday is going to be the 23rd. I have an appointment to have the vehicle certified. So by Monday I should have the vehicle legally on the road, um, all registered, all good, and I'm excited for that. And then the next big thing to do is to get some KO2s for the winter time, some all-terrains. I'm going to replace the mud terrains that I have on there right now, even though they are snow and mud rated. Um, I definitely want to get some KO2s. Uh, and then I should be good to go. Um, so it's been an adventure so far. I mean, this has been going for almost a month now. Uh, August 21st is when I picked up the truck. And right now we are at September 18. So uh, it looks like it's going to be a little over the month that this, this whole thing is captured. I don't want to go too long because who knows how long this video is going to be. It might be, it might be put in parts or whatever. But uh, yeah, just an update for you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, we'll see if the tires work tomorrow and the wheels work tomorrow. And then that's not even it. To when we go for the safety, is the threading going to be enough? Um, are they going to say that the tires are too bald or whatever the case may be? I think they look pretty good to be honest. They're not new by any means, but I think they look to be pretty decent. So um, this has been an adventure, guys. But it's all part of the journey. So, we'll see you guys soon. Oh. All right, guys. You got my Raptor hat on. Time for an update. It is September 21. Oh. I'm so tired. September 21. Uh, let see if I can get in this picture here. All right, September 21, 2019. So what just happened since the last time I updated you guys? So that trip that I took to Edmonton. So the trip that I took about two, it was about six hours total there and back to get wheels and tires. It turns out that the wheels do not fit because the center hole is not big enough on the 1990 F-150, they got the manual locking hubs which means that it needs to accommodate a bigger center hole. So that trip was in vain. So those top wheels and tires didn't work. What I ended up doing, um, as you guys saw, I went to Cal Tire and I got some brand new winter tires. Uh, I'm gonna keep my wheels on the truck. I'm gonna take off the 35 inch mud terrains. I'm gonna put these winter tires on just for the inspection. Um, the reason why I got these new is because I'm able to trade them in for some KO2s when I'm done with the inspection. So I've confirmed that with them. So this is solely for the inspection. 
the size that I got that will fit on the rim, well, we're, we're going to see if it fits. <laughs> you guys are going to know before, well, no, technically I'll know before you, but um, at this point, I don't know if these are going to fit. They said they should. Uh, the size on these are P25-70R15. Um, they do look a little narrow just by looking at them and just knowing how my wheels look. So, I don't know. This whole thing has been an adventure. Today, I actually sold my Raptor. Um, so that is gone as Gen 1 2012 with about 62,000 kilometers on there. So um, a guy came into, into town from out of town. Uh, he picked that up. So that's what I've been running around doing all day. Um, and yeah, I just picked these tires up. It's uh, Saturday. So I had to push forward my inspection to Tuesday instead of Monday because I ordered these tires on a Thursday. They're like, yeah, we, we'll get these uh, in tomorrow, which would be the Friday. Um, only to know that when I went Friday, like, uh, we don't have them. So they, you know, I, I was annoyed, but at the end of the day, they're doing the best they can do. Um, so they got them in today, uh, but I already pushed my, uh, safety inspection to Tuesday. So these are going to get mounted up. The work on the truck that I told you guys about earlier is all done to my understanding. So it's just going to be the mounted tires. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. He's got to be mounted tires, inspection, BFGs, registered, done, and then I get to upload this video. So just an update there. Um, thank you guys if you've, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but thank you if you made it this far. And if you guys are doing something similar in Canada, um, I'm sure the process is probably a little different in the States, but uh, hopefully this helps out a bit. It's been quite the adventure, and the uh, upfront costs are nice and uh, pricey. I'll give you guys the exactly what I paid, total vehicle included and everything at the end of this video. Okay guys, it is September 24th. I'm just here at the shop. The truck's about to be done. Um, we're gonna take it in for inspection or to be safetyed. Um, so it has its uh, little wheels on there. Looks ridiculous, but it's just for the inspection. Um, I call Cal Tire and they said that the BFG should be in tomorrow at noon so I can either drive it there uh, tomorrow or just leave it overnight. But yeah, the moment of truth guys to see if this thing gets past the inspection. A lot of work has been done. It's been up here on the hoist for, I think this is going to be the third day. Um, so wishing for the best. The mud terrain tires, the BFG mud terrains that I had on there, they're no good. Uh, they got cracks and stuff. So I was going to sell those back, see if I can make some money, um, take off the overall cost of the, the uh, KO2s, but uh, I guess they're no good. So yeah, Mwah. so I'm pumped. I'll let you guys know what happens. Well, guys, it's done. It is finally registered. I'm going to put my plate on there. Man, those wheels look ridiculous. We're not wheels, sorry, the tires, but they're getting changed tomorrow. Getting some KO2s on there. So, good, we got the screws in there already. So take those out. And get rid of these in-transit stickers, finally. I guess I need the keys. But wow, what a journey it has been to finally get this thing registered. It's gonna be perfect tomorrow when I get the, the, the tires on there. Um, thank you guys for sticking around for the whole thing and watching the whole thing, the whole process. I don't know if you guys are, you know, doing the, pro the same thing with maybe a different truck or an older truck or an out of province truck, out of state. I don't know how it works in the States, but it's worth it. I gotta say though, with those uh, tires on there, as crazy as they look, like the ride is a lot more normal <laughs> than before with the mud terrains on there. So I'm gonna compare it, see how the KO2s do. But man, I'm happy. I'm so happy. All right guys, so the final piece of the puzzle, the tires, they're coming on or they're being put on as we speak. The guys said they're almost done. I'm so excited. He actually rolled some out uh, to the showroom floor, uh, rolled one of the wheels and tires out, and oh my goodness, it looked beautiful. I can't
can't wait to see him on the truck. I'm just excited about the whole thing. The whole journey, over a month ago, uh, I went out to BC and I picked up this truck, drove it back, and it's been an adventure ever since. I learned a lot about the truck, um, learned a lot uh, about the process, and you know what? I would do it again. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to show you guys as soon as he comes out. There she is in all her glory. Well, there she is, guys. Yesterday it was too dark by the time I put on the toolbox in the back here. A little too uh, dark for me to get any good video. It's locked up right now. Uh, but here she is, guys. Here she is. Like I said, man, I can't... I can't express just how happy I am after this whole journey to get this thing uh, into the province, inspected, and on the road like oh my goodness that thing looks so good look at that i'm just gonna put this blanket inside here because you never know when you blanket so i kind of kind of opted out or not opted out but just i decided to go for a toolbox simply because it's a you know two-door truck don't have a lot of space in the actual cabin of the truck so I went ahead and got this better built toolbox um, get in there I think it's gonna be good uh, gonna grab me some utility good quality I didn't cheap out on it either but yeah, instead of getting a canopy, I decided to go with the toolbox. So yeah, um, we're about six days into fall right now. We got a little bit of snow. It's September 20, September 27th, a little bit of snow. So luckily I was able to get my KO2s on there to see how, I'm gonna see how they, uh, how they are in the winter time. Might have to put some load in the back, who knows. But, really happy about it, guys. Um, it's quite the journey. Anyways, let me know what you guys want to see in regards, in relation to the truck. And I will do my best to get you that content. If you have any questions about it, I will get you guys the answers you want. Because I'm in no way, shape, or form a mechanic. Um, I do like to tinker, though. And I do like to learn. So, uh, that's going to be awesome for this truck, which is you know by today's standards not a very complex truck at all so any work that I need done I'll figure it out and I'm, I'm excited for that so I'll keep you guys posted thanks again uh, if you like the content feel free to hit that subscribe and like button and leave a comment down below thanks guys